Hello people, this is Eric Cobra and this is Let's Play Fallout Dead Money Blind. And now we gotta get our sunglass wearing friend here to his place. Was that him floating above the fountain, the boss man? The one who put these bow ties on our necks? Sure does like to make a presentation. We should keep it down or else the ghost people are going to swarm the gates, Vera hologram or no. Supposed to be the grand opening of the Sierra Madre. Lots of lights, music, the works. And he's going to use the gala event to open the casino? But that's interesting. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the drain in power. That'll cause the security systems to shut down enough to let us in. But getting back out? No, the place will close up tighter than an opening at the fronds. Or Danny Parker's sphincter when he has to tip a doorman. Right, look. So, not everything about the villa was the pinnacle of bright ideas. In order to pull off the gala, old Sinclair had to get creative. The Sierra Madre announcement, for example. Not just for the casino, not at all. The gala's tied to the casino, draws on its power. Might cause it to reset itself, open the doors for a bit like it was supposed to. Interesting. Uh, about the Sierra broadcast, well, what's that? Vera's beautiful voice doesn't run on casino power, exactly. Her broadcast is tied into the emergency broadcast signal for the Sierra Madre. You know, in case of attack. Well, guess what? The night of the gala event, the emergency signal went out all right. But because the broadcast had been hooked up to the gala event, instead of an emergency signal, you get Vera's voice on the radio. Great, huh? <laughs> yeah, the Sierra Madre's last song, one only a few people are ever going to hear. A little sad, but what can you do? No, looks like a rooftop in Puesta del Sol. In better days, nice view. Now, it's the last place anyone wants to stand when this event goes off. That place during spring, summer and fall, a little bit in winter, is a prime resort spot for ghost people. Not the best of neighborhoods. Wonderful. If we're going there, I'm not going alone. And if you have any bright ideas about telling me to stroll over there, or leave me there, no, thanks. Any idea what you're supposed to do over there? Partner, I'm not sure this guy's operating with a full deck. My bet? Process of elimination. Lowest common denominator. He figures the strong man's needed somewhere, even if it sounds like the strong man's two minds about it. Plus, I'm guessing wherever old doggy boys needed doesn't need smarts. I hope not. Or we're royally jonesed. Christine, that her name? Nice name. I mean, you can't see it on posters, but never mind. <laughs> I don't know. She might need to hold some place where speaking isn't important. Like stage tech? Lighting? Got me. And me? I've had prime billing in Europe, New York, and this gig doesn't feel like that. Don't get me wrong, I can hold an audience, conduct a score from the rooftops, but I'm guessing I'm the odd man out in this whole heist. Yeah. Of course you do, let's hear them. Tourists, you bet. They don't stay long, and they 
don't stay alive long. If they survive the cloud, the ghost people, the traps, then the greed takes over. And they start sizing each other up for funeral suits. I'm noticing a theme. Well, considering my life's on the line too, yeah, a few things. First off, keep everyone together. Keep checking behind you. Make sure your partners are following. Don't let them wander. Also, don't go running crazy everywhere. Almost every inch of this town is lethal. So if you're not sure, take it real slow. And speaking of slow, don't go shouting or attracting attention. Go quiet. The ghost people find you, it's over. So, what are these ghost people exactly? Alive? Alive is a tricky word. The locals, the ghost people, not sure it applies to them. They're a little uncivilized. They don't talk much. As in at all. Whatever we do, don't rile them up. Normally, there's only a few, maybe a pack. There's more out there, a lot more. Wonderful. If they find out someone's trespassing, it'd be shaking a hornet's nest. Don't want to think how many of them could fill these streets. Friend, there's more mysteries in heaven and earth. Wait, no. There's more between heaven and earth. Oh, forget it. I know what you mean. I'd sooner ask what makes me an undying son of a bitch than spend any thought as to why they crawl to life here. I'm counting myself lucky I still have my faculties. They sure don't. Then again, they may not have had the focus I do. Uh, focus? Always had the Sierra Madre to keep my mind occupied. Most folks, they don't have the same drive, the same need. Not worth my time. Pretty much ghost people before the bomb, now ghost people after. Ah. It's your time, and if you want to spend it chatting, not much I can do about it. Yeah, um, about those stashes, it's okay to take from right? Why? Survival. I still needed to leave the residential area to scrounge up supplies, and I don't like taking chances. The villa's dangerous. So I left weapons and stims in case I got in a tight spot. And of course you show up putting your mitts on everything. I suppose this qualifies as an emergency, so I'm not complaining. Much. Uh. Uh. Yeah, what about Vera? Yeah, don't you? Or, guess where the keys got lost along with the rest of the hollow archives when the bomb hit, huh? Ghost in name and image. Still a looker, though. Got to hand it to Sinclair. Sure can pick him. Well, or get picked. Whichever. Vera was a big star then before the bomb. Not the best actress, but, well. She had other talents. Nice voice, nice legs. For some reason, Sinclair, he built this place. She caught his eye. Once he was hooked, that was it. Had to have her. So made the introductions and guess what? He builds this place for her like some kind of Cleopatra obsession. Wasn't always a death trap. Of course. What? Some kind of surprise to you that I knew people once? Used to have my name in lights, all right? Whoa, whoa, no insult You a meant. dozen Vera's, or whatever her name was. Uh, Villa Keys. Figured I could pay Sinclair back. Introduce the two. Guy was a slouch in the dame department. Had to pick up the slack somehow.
So, what do we know about this cloud? The cloud showed up after the bomb, I think. I got used to it in small doses. Now it covers the city. Over the years, it kept climbing up out of the Sierra Madre until it was curtains for the sun. Didn't see the sky again. Doesn't seem to bother the ghost people. Can't see through it too well, though. So sometimes I can use the cloud for cover. If I get desperate. Hmm, okay. What weapons um, have you, like, to use? Not one for fighting. We can avoid it. Still wasn't bad at the pistol range. And over the years, I've learned how to handle a knife. And explosives a bit. A bit. Made a lot of mistakes along the way. Still have my fingers, though. Hmm. Oh, boy. Well, let's get moving. Strike up the band. Domino's back in town. Wonderful. Just okay. Um, I'm just checking my. You know, I was going to use this for repair, but um... let's deal. Yeah, you can have the. Didn't I have two cost? No, nope, no, nope, used it. There. And I noticed you lying over here. Alright then. Let's get moving. Those missions. You sure came a long way to rob this place. Guess greed. Can I return something? No. Can't. Oh. There. I noticed. And I noticed I still had this. Thing. This looks Let's head through the hole in the wall there. This crouching is hell on my knees. All right. The cloud wasn't always here. Grew over the years, even without cars or factories. It seems like this was a shop. This looks familiar. Have I been here before? is probably nearby then. Uh. 
through here. Sure. 